Hi all, this is Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts Inc. In this video, I'm gonna show you the only accurate test for figuring out whether your mystery metal is fine silver or sterling silver. Look, we have all had that situation where you pull something out of a bag or it's fallen out of a bag or whatever and you're like, mm, I don't know what this is. It's very common, but I'm going to show you everything you need to know about how to accurately identify the metal for absolutely sure. So I wanted to show something really valuable. We were just talking about, like, look at this wire. Now to the casual observer, you might say, oh, that looks like sterling. It's all oxidized. Now, whenever you have mystery metal, you know, like silver, and you're like, I don't know what it is. You can never look at the surface because depending on how many times something has been heated and pickled or left to oxidize or whatever, it can really alter what you think. Because a student came over and said like, look at this. And I'm like, well, it looks like sterling, but we're gonna always cut a little piece and melt it and then we'll know. Because like, for example, sterling is gonna look one way, fine silver is gonna look another way, argentium will look another way. Okay, so we're just gonna, I mean, not a big piece, just, you know, a little piece like that. Uh, then you throw it on the floor and you cut another one. <laughs> like that. There we go. There we go. And melt it on, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Soldering board, charcoal block. Just big enough that you feel like you can see. Okay, just like you're melting a solder ball or whatever. That's all right. Jumped off. Now, you see that? White, shiny, that's fine silver. So what I was saying was, so fine silver is just pure silver. There's no copper in it to oxidize. However, there is sulfur in the air. So fine silver that's been left sitting in a drawer like for a long time can and will look like this. And then if you just looked at it and said, oh, it must be sterling, you would be wrong because when you melt it, you'll see what it really is. It's one of those, you gotta scratch the surface kind of a thing. So if you're in doubt about your silver, cut a little piece and melt it. The end? Yes, that's the bell saying the end. You must cut a piece to know what's inside. So just to show you guys for an example, like look at this, all clean and pretty, right? Let's say you find it in your stuff and you're like, I don't know what that is, you know? So we're gonna take, we're gonna cut a little piece. Cause I mean, I'm just saying like, you know what I mean? Look at the difference, clean and beautiful, you know? Okay. Melt it completely into a ball. See, that is sterling. So, ta-da, ta-da. You, you see the extremely clear difference in these two when they're melted, whereas when you look here, it's different. So I'm always telling people like, they're like, well, I think it is. I'm like, da, 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 da. don't think anything. You cut a piece and you melt it because it's so often that it's confusing. Because another thing that can happen, like let's say you have a piece of sterling, right? If you've heated and pickled it multiple times, it's got like a skin of fine silver at the surface. So if you anneal it again, it may not get dark at all, but that doesn't mean that it's fine silver. Do you know what I'm saying? So you must melt to, to really know the answer. And guess what? We all think we can label things properly and I'm gonna keep things separate and I'm gonna, and we all do the best we can. But in the real world, Labels fall off, things get mixed together. They can get mixed up at the store. They can get mixed up at the factory. Like you just always wanna be sure that you know how to test with your own eyeballs to know what something is, okay?